The 10 Best Towns to Live in Northern Ireland You know this channel is never biased in the coverage of cities, towns and villages in the United Kingdom. Consistent with that, we shift our attention to Northern Ireland in this video. This time, we want to talk about the 10 best towns to live in Northern Ireland. Before we begin, we have to be quick in saying that towns in this region of the UK are generally cooler than those you would find near London, Manchester, Edinburgh or Glasgow. However, it would be unfair to believe that they are less sophisticated. After all, towns in Northern Ireland are expected to be influenced by the cities nearby. We now invite you to pay more than usual attention to this video. 10. Port Stewart We feel so good beginning this in Port Stewart. This is a small town in County Londonderry with a population of 8,003. It is a seaside resort beside Port Rush. Port Stewart has a good-looking harbour and scenic coastal paths that form an Atlantic promenade that leads to a two-mile beach popular with holidaymakers all year round, not just during summer. Victorian middle-class families are in love with this town as a holiday destination. It has a long, crescent-shaped seafront promenade that is sheltered by rocky headlands. Port Stewart is a reasonably prosperous town. You can thus live there and make good fortune. Most of it is contained in the Strand Electoral Ward, which is counted as one of the most affluent areas in the region. 9. Castle Wellen Castle Wellen is a small town in County Down. The town in the southeast of Northern Ireland is close to the Irish Sea and beside Castle Wellen Lake and Slievenaslad Mountain. It is also 11 miles southwest of Downpatrick. The town was originally designed for the Annesley family by a French architect. As one of the 10 best towns to live in Northern Ireland, it has a wide main street running through two main squares lined with chestnut trees. One of the beautiful features of this town is Drummina Cashel, a small stone-built farmstead enclosure situated two miles southwest of Castle Wellen off the A25 road to Rathrilland. Castle Wellen Forest Park and Castle Wellen Lake also deserve to be mentioned in this town. Though the Castle Wellen Castle is not generally open to everyone, the site of this Scottish baronial beautiful and tranquil castle of 1856 is enough to add flavour to each day of life in the town. 8. Larn Larn is a town with a population of 18,755 on the east coast of County Antrim. This town is a major passenger and freight roll-on roll-off port administered by Mid and East Antrim Borough Council. It is also a civil parish in the historic barony of Glenarm Upper. Larn rose from the lowest spot during the course of the Troubles to become one of the best places to live. The significant paramilitary presence in the town has ensured the safety of residents. The Ulster Volunteer Force, the UVF, and Ulster Defence Association, the UDA, are helping to ensure that it sustains the peace for which it is presently known. 7. Newtownards Also in County Down is Newtownards, a town lying at the most northern tip of Strangford Lough. It's located on the Ards Peninsula, it's just 10 miles east of Belfast in the civil parish of Newtonards. The town with a population of 28,050 is beautified by the 100-foot Scarborough Tower overlooking it and built as a memorial to Charles Stewart, the third Marquess of Londonderry in 1857. It also has Movilla Abbey, some heritage centre toward the north, which is a unique attraction of international significance, telling the historical reality of the Great War, including its effects on the community at home. 6. Port Rush We return to County Antrim in search of the next town, and we find Port Rush, a small seaside resort on the north coast of the county. It shares borders with Port Stewart mentioned earlier. This old town has the railway station as its main part, as well as hotels and pubs. All are built on a one-mile-long peninsula, Ramor Head. With a population of about 6,454, Port Rush in the off-season is a dormitory town for the students of the campus of the University of Ulster at nearby Coleraine. With its three sandy beaches, namely the West Strand, East Strand and White Rocks, it is a tranquil paradise for residents. It has a great blend of untouched scenic beauty and historical landmarks, in addition to secluded areas and gold courses. 5. Omar Omar is the county town of County Tyrone. It is situated where, at the confluence of rivers Drumra and Camoen that form the Struel. Belfast is just 68 miles away to its east town and Derry is only 34 miles to the north. With a population of 19,659, it is part of County Tyrone which had a population of 51,356 as a former district council. 
As the largest town in the country, Omar is home to the headquarters of the Western Education and Library Board. Here is Sperrin House, is the location of offices at the Department of Agriculture and Rural Development. At Tyrone County Hall, you will find the Department for Regional Development, while Boaz House is the location of the Office of the Northern Ireland Land and Property Services and Northern Ireland. 4. Magrafelt Magrafelt seems to have been overlooked for so long, though its residents are in love with it and they don't often move out of the town to live elsewhere. The town described one of its long-term residents as a place having a bit of everything and is quite desirable. Thus, it was not surprising to the residents when the Sunday Times named it as one of the three best places to live in Northern Ireland for the first time. The judges described the town as supremely practical. To people outside the town, this recognition was in a way surprising because it tends to be one of the forgotten towns with all the countryside around it while having all the big town facilities. Living in the Northern Ireland town of Magafelt, you can have a combination of town life, city life and country life. 3. Enniskillen Enniskillen rightly finds its place on this list, and it can't be in a better position than the third. But if you think otherwise, kindly let us have your ranking in the comments section. In the Sunday Times 2019 Definitive Guide, it ranked among the best. The judges described it as a super-friendly market town on the River Urn with good manners and even better looks. Reference was made to its finest properties and views as well as the convenient 15-minute walk to the town centre. The newspaper commended the town for its qualitative education institutes, air quality and internet broadband. 2. Hollywood Hollywood, a town in the metropolitan area of Belfast, is one of three locations in the region ranked by the Sunday Times in its annual Best Places to Live guide. The town of 755 acres, located on the shore of Belfast Lock, is a civil parish and townland between Belfast and Bangor. Its proximity to Hollywood Exchange and Belfast City Airport is a reason to make it one of the best places to live. For lovers of pleasure, it hosts an annual jazz and blues festival. With its population of over 11,000, the town in the metropolitan area of Belfast well deserves the crown it wears as the second best town to live in Northern Ireland. At least, the town has for four times in a row made the Sunday Times list. Its golden shores, a perfect blend of seaside allure and its suburban tranquility all combine to make Hollywood a crowd favourite for both locals and tourists. 1. Ballycastle The rank of the best town to live in Northern Ireland goes to none other than Ballycastle, a small seaside town also in County Antrim, located on the northeasternmost coastal tip. The town is in the Antrim coast and Glens area of outstanding natural beauty. In the Sunday Times 2022 poll about the best places to live, Ballycastle tops in Northern Ireland. The poll describes the town as an unspoiled fishing village that has maintained its vibrant food scene. For example, it has eateries such as Morton's Fish and Chips and Ursa Minor Bakehouse. Rating the coastal town above the competition in NI, the Sunday Times described its beautiful surroundings which make it a blissful base for families. The town is also recognised for its welcoming atmosphere. The panel of judges assessed a range of factors when deciding to rank it top and these include schools, culture, green spaces, transport, broadband and the health of the high street. This is a product of years of investment and a fine cultural reputation. Your time on this video has no doubt been rewarded. Please, what's your take on the towns mentioned here and other towns in Northern Ireland? Kindly, let's have your comments. Thank you for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell.